uh, hello guys uh, today we will see the postman what is meant by postman and uh, so we will try to do api testing in the postman okay uh, so i am going to give some insights about the postman api testing okay first we will see the theory concept hmm? okay see i am opening the ppt i have prepared and uh, okay see so what is meant by api testing so api testing so till now we have seen the functional testing right i have told functional testing performing functional testing on playwright automation and uh, with cypress we have seen so automation only we have seen so functional testing is testing the application functionally but coming to the api testing right so it is different from the functional testing so api stands for the application programming interface so it, this is nothing but the application application programming interface and it is a mediator to communicate in between two applications so i can say it is a mediator in between two applications okay in general terms api is nothing but set of code okay API is nothing but set of code. So there will be no user interface of the application. So the there will the behind uh behind API testing. So the code is developed first. So developers they will develop the code. The set of code is developed by the developers. So in any language which performs which, which we need to perform on the testing on the code. So API is nothing but a set of logic, a set of code. So where we need to perform testing, there will be no user interface of the application. Okay. Next. So the example, right? And so this is the screenshot I have taken from uh, Google site. But for understanding purpose, uh, I'm making, uh, I'm utilizing this screenshot. Okay. See presentation, there are three layers. Okay. One is the presentation layer. One is the business layer. One is the database layer. Okay. So database layer is nothing but a server database. Okay. Where, where your, your data is going to save. So whatever the data you are applying, right, that will go and save in the database. But uh, whatever the presentation layer is nothing but UI, UI of the application, any of the application, see, so beautifully they will, uh, in the HTML code, they will develop the UI uh, and uh, with some so they will give a beautiful uh, UI user interface to the users. So where they can go and check, suppose Gmail is there, right? Gmail login, you can see, right? So user interface looks beautiful. Then users are going to access the application. Means they are naming in the presentation layer. No, you can see that when you hit the URL, you can see uh, there is the username field. There is the password field. And the username field contains the label username. Us password field contains the label password. So then you need to click on the button. So when you click on the button, means it is understanding by the user presentation layer. But uh, when you come to the API testing, no, it's a business layer, business logic layer. So just code. So it's a code. So API testing works here. Okay. So API testing, what is API testing? So testing the business logic of any application is called API testing. So we are going to test any of the business logic, nothing but the code. So whenever you are going to do API testing, right? Your presentation layer or user interface will be missing. See, your presentation layer, nothing but user interface will be missing. So user interface will be missing means, you can access from Google site, any of the application. Suppose demo dot orange HRM. I'm taking this application to demo site, right? So this is the presentation layer for us now. So user interface layer. So this is the layer. So behind it, there is a business layer. Logic business code means set of code will be there. That is where developers are working. So developers will be keep on working on the business logic layer. Once business logic layer is ready, then only the user interface layer will get. Uh, ready. So the first API testing is can be performed without presentation layer, without user interface. So we can find more bugs. Okay. So once presentation layer, no, see that properly giving username and username field, password and password field. Click on the login button. Means they are telling the user that they are giving one kind of UI, attractive UI to the users, and they are naming 
each and every element because users has to understand. So if they give directly this page without naming uh, uh, labels and all, then how user are going to work? So that's why the business uh, presentation layer is very important, but it is designed after the when the set of code is ready, when the business logic layer is ready. Okay, so business logic layer means behind the presentation layer, but we can't see that one. Only developers have the uh, access to see and they are going to develop the code, right? So business logic layer. So whenever you are doing API testing, no, your presentation layer, user interface layer will be missing. You will perform API testing by tools called Postman. So we will are taking one example. Uh, what is the tool we are so regularly everyone knows, right? Postman is the tool. You will be testing with endpoints. So endpoints we will see later. But you are so if you want to do API testing, you will require the endpoints. How you are going to get the endpoints? Developers will give the endpoints. So that is that you need to check with them. You will be hitting something and you will be getting something. Means hitting request and getting response. So this is nothing but API testing. So you, you are giving the request and you are getting the response. That is nothing but API testing. API testing. So the purpose of API testing is to check. You can check the functionality, reliability, performance of the application, security of the programming interfaces. So all the testing you can perform by API testing. API tests are very different from GUI tests. So, so API test cases are different and the GUI test cases means graphical user interface. Uh, user interface test cases, functional test cases are different and won't concentrate on the look and feel of any application. See, GUI testing, you are going to concentrate more on the user interface of the application, but API testing concentrates on the business logic layer, business code. So it is mainly concentrates on the business layer of the business logic layer of the software architecture, which API testing, okay? So for more understanding, so I have created one uh, layer. So this is the presentation layer. Okay, presentation layer. So in the presentation layer, right, with the help of JavaScript, CSS, HTML, they are going to define the user interface. Huh? So this is the business logic layer. So here your business logic layer, no, they can have Java, .NET, C Sharp, Python. So everything they can. And this is the database where you are going to save your data, your data, either you can save in the SQL, Oracle, PostgreSQL, so anything, okay? See, presentation layer, no, it is having a browser, is having a browser. See, nothing but this is the presentation layer now. So how users are going to see what is happening is if you are not a software guy, you don't know what is happening in the... Uh, application, how you are using the application. See what happens, right? It is opening in the browser, right? So when we, we are sending the request based on the get, post, put, delete. So we can learn these elements later. But when you are sending the request, so you are hitting the request. So from business logic, it went to, it, it enters from the business logic layer. It, it will send as a request to the database. From the database, whatever the data is saved, no, it is sending as a, it is returning back as a response. So you are getting the response. So browser interpret that response and produces in the UI format, user understands, user understanding format. This is user understandable format. See, suppose now, suppose I'm, I'm see, here they are providing username and password, right? I'm giving admin, okay. So admin, so I'm giving path, enter, I entered a wrong password, okay? Now, when I hit here, when I hit here, but who are using the users? No, they don't know what is happening. But so internally, what is happening? This architecture follows. So this is the this is the architecture. It is happening internally. So okay. Now presentation layer. Now what I did now here, I am entering username and the password, incorrect password. So hit hit on the login button. So when I hit on the login button, see you are getting the response. Now what it did. So when I entered here click on login button, it, it went to the code and it sent the request to the database. So what database is giving, so if you are giving wrong username and password, it should give the response. So the response is coming and sitting on the presentation layer. Then only user is able to understand, right? So this is nothing but user understandable format. So how the response is coming? The response is coming in the user understandable format. I hope this is very helpful guys, thank you. So this is the how the 
API testing huh, is architecture is happening. Okay, this is the this is the way it request sent and we are getting the response user understandable format. Thank you guys.